the thing I like about my job is the pay, the chance to go out and travel. I think I have probably the best job on this boat. I love this job. I like the interaction with the passengers. My life, riding the car now is full of ups and downs. <laughs> but I'm sure enjoying it. If GoBell can take all the companies that we've invested in and realize that this is my pride, this is my heritage, this is something I'm building, that it is our company, sort of like it's my home. A home shareholders have found in Gold Belt, a corporation we can call our own, where passive Wall Street investments are now thriving businesses, and the potential for shareholder hire is unlimited. We are looking at several companies that we can put in place. There are many companies that are in place, and all of them have opportunities for shareholders. And that's what we're all about. Gold Belt is putting our corporation to work. Our shareholder hire program puts people first, and the success is visible. Everybody I know is saying the same thing. It's that Gold Belt's finally doing something. They can see it. They've got hands on. They're hiring people. They're, they're making a difference. The difference is the proactive role Gold Belt takes in the hiring of shareholders. Every contract Gold Belt signs includes provisions for shareholder employment. Every business that hires shareholders either individually or as a company gets first preference. The order of preference for uh, employment with Gold Belt are Gold Belt shareholders, Gold Belt shareholder descendants, Gold Belt shareholder spouses, and then all other ANSCA members uh, so any other um, Anxka Corporation member, and then Alaska Natives. Natives like Charles Howard, a shareholder success story. He's a graduate of the first visitor industry preparation program. The training course helped launch his new career. Last year there were 16 shareholders in that class, and all 16 of us got jobs if that's any indication what it does for a person. I think it's a wonderful deal and I would definitely encourage other shareholders to take that class. Sometimes when we're busy looking at the base of the glacier, something will calve off in the back on the top. Tourism is leading Gold Belt investments into the 21st century, building a bridge from the world of business to our world of Clinket culture. The name of the story is a woman who married the bear out in the wilderness here in Southeast. They say that when you talk to the bear, they understand you. When a person says tourism, it's not just being one part. There's so many different aspects. It's like a, a crystal with many different dimensions. And with each new year comes new opportunities to add different dimensions to the lives of shareholders, both starting out and starting over. Most people think, well, gee, you know, at 65, Lino, you should retire. I have no intentions of it. You know, I think I have a lot to offer the corporation. Catalina, a board member for 19 years, is one of many shareholders coming out of retirement and exploring a new role with Gold Belt. Some of our shareholders who feel that being a steward or working on a ship, and you have to be a young person to do it, uh, I don't think so. For a person who loves to travel, who loves to see things, uh, this is an ideal job. Our shareholders at Glacier Bay Lodge help shape the experience thousands of guests share when they visit our national treasure. I've never worked for the tourists before. You know, this is actually my first time. And I've never thought I'd do it, but I've enjoyed it. As do the rest of our shareholder hires, whether it's in the lodge, or on our state-of-the-art Mount Roberts Aerial Tramway. I'm a tram operator, and one of my little spiels is to uh, greet them with, uh, with an Eskimo hello, which is Chamai. I, I usually say Chamai, good, mo good morning, good afternoon. 
Welcome aboard the Mount Roberts Aerial Tramway. My name is Pavila. I'll be your tram operator or shuttle pilot. I put a little drama into it, get them really excited. The tramway is a key tourist draw, providing a restaurant, theater, and spectacular views of Juneau and the Gastineau Channel. But more importantly, this multi-million dollar facility opens new doors for shareholder hire. I feel working for a gold belt, you know, gold belt owns part of this tramway and, and uh, I'm a shareholder, I, I feel more proud. It's that sense of ownership, that extra effort, your pride that gives Gold Belt its competitive edge. With my college education behind me, I could have gone to work other places, but uh, Gold Belt, as a shareholder, I have a high degree of interest in how it's doing, and, and I've really enjoyed participating in, in the growth that we're experiencing. Yeah, I actually turned down some higher paying jobs to work with uh, Gold Belt working for my own company, uh, trying to get uh, uh, get the natives in into the tourist industry. A lot of the shareholders are happy that uh, we're getting uh, recognized and getting into uh, other businesses and, and doing actually quite well. And I own over 100 shares with Gold Belt Incorporated, so that means that this boat is part mine. So yeah, that was, I was proud to be able to say that I'm a Gold Belt shareholder and this is a Gold Belt operation here. Yeah. Much like a native dancer tells his story with his songs, Gold Belt Incorporated runs its company with its shareholders and their clinket convictions. In the midst of rapid change, since the days of our grandparents and great-grandparents, our company has not lost sight of its people. Gold Belt has traveled a rough road since incorporating in 1974, but has fought its way to become an economic force in Southeast Alaska. Together, we are moving forward to make a better life for all shareholders, a life our next generations can all be proud of. <laughs>